rail programme of holiday period engineering work look even more ambitious. Despite the efforts of gritters and snow ploughs, there have been scores of accidents on the roads. In northeast Wales, a supermarket lorry skidded off a bridge in a blizzard and overturned. The driver was wearing a seatbelt and walked away unscathed. Well, the first thing this morning, the weather was horrendous. Uh, the A55 was like a skating rink. So, uh, and unfortunately, the driver, there was nothing he could do. He'd lost it and it just slid off. Because the snow came late in the night, especially in the south, it settled on what was already sheet ice, ice that'll return with another freeze tonight. The AA says breakdowns have been running at 1,300 per hour. Runways buried in several inches of snow forced the closure of many major airports. Snowblowers swept the tarmac at Liverpool, which was shut from 5 o'clock in the morning, and airline staff de-iced planes, but 4,000 travellers were still held up. The number delayed at Luton was even higher. Around 15,000 were due to pass through today. There are only two people to deal with all these cancelled flights, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. And at Glasgow, closed for nine hours, passengers voiced similar frustration at the airport's inability to cope. Here I feel that they've been um, caught on the hop, but the weather's been forecasted, hasn't it, to be poor? But far from the maddened crowds, people who didn't have to travel, like these families in Birmingham, were able just to enjoy the snow. And certain residents of Dudley Zoo felt more at home than ever. George Eakin, BBC News. One of the worst affected parts of the country is Northern Ireland, which has had its heaviest snowfalls for 18 years. Some areas had more than seven inches of snow overnight, with temperatures dropping as low as minus 12 degrees. As if the worst snow in two decades wasn't enough, then came the fog. This is one of Northern Ireland's busiest motorways, and while most main roads were usable, many country roads were simply impassable. Quite apart from transport difficulties, some social services had to be cancelled. It was impossible to get into housing estates. The road service said it had not been unprepared. The snowstorm was so intense that its salting of the roads didn't work. Temperatures we were facing were down as low as minus 12. Salt actually becomes ineffective, um, about minus 10 degrees Celsius. So, you know, th th those factors uh, all combined, I think, to, to give us what are, I, I have to accept, are difficult driving conditions. The weather was bright today. But at one point, all three main airports had been closed. 200 people spent the night at Belfast City Airport, and some travellers were angry at how they'd been treated. Some people have been here 24 hours, and we've been taken off the plane, so that the next lot of people that came later are on the plane. And that's why we are so angry. But they're doing nothing for us. We've been left stranded at the airport. We can't, this lady here's got onward flights, 